Three. What's your name for the folks out there? Uh, David. And David, why are you in this institution, Calipatrick? Uh, when I was when I was 19 years old, I I got caught up with uh, in a murder, robbery, and burglary, and uh, and I was fighting my case for a couple years in the county. I was fighting the death penalty, ended up dropping it, and I ended up getting a uh, uh, the life without parole. And uh, I've been here at this prison for uh, a little over, almost going on two years. You know, and uh, it's 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 been a journey. You know, the Lord's Lord's really took control of my life. You know, uh, I grew up, you know, born and raised in Long Beach. You know, um, I was living reckless out there. You know, I I was you know I was hanging around I was hanging around a lot of gangsters, doing a lot of a lot of activity, wrong activity. You know, that that was going to, towards the path of destruction. I grew up in a Christian home. My mom's Christian. But you know, I was rebellious towards my mom, disrespectful towards her, just my dad, you know, towards my sisters, my brothers, everybody, you know. I, I didn't care, I was just doing what I want. And uh, you know, when I was when I was fifteen years old, you know, I I picked up, you know, saw with the battery, you know, fought that for a little while and towards the Los Petrinos court, ended up getting probation, you know, and then uh, and when I turned eighteen, you know, uh, Picked up a small case, you know, fought that, and then when I turned 19, I, that's what I told you I fought, and and from there, you know, it just Lord's really been controlling my life. You know, I always gave my life to the Lord, but I was never obedient. I was, I was just, I was read the Bible, go to church, but I was still lived like a fool. I still had a filthy mouth, doing a lot of, you know, had a had crazy thoughts, doing stupid things, you know, and, and it's like anything in life, you know, you know. You know, I got serious with the Lord. The Lord got a hold of me, touched my heart. Jesus touched my heart. And since then, He's been transforming me by renewing my mind from the inside out. You know, He's been changing my conduct, my mouth, my character. You know, treating others how I want to be treated, treating others with respect. You know, bless those who persecute me, you know. And not repaying evil for evil. And looking at everybody equal. And at the same time, you know, trying to trying to bring trying to bring people to the savior of the world, Jesus Christ, you know. So what do you say to the youth today? Give me a quick thing that you would say to the youth of somebody that's fifteen years old. What do you say to them? Fifteen years old, I, I'd say just stay educated, you know, stay in school, listen to your parents, and most importantly, man, you know, give your life to the Lord, give your life to Jesus, you don't understand how how much of a transformation you'll do in your life. It's just it there's, there's no more than that. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to me.